Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how you can make ROM database project included save, fetch, search, and delete. So we uh, in part one we will uh, discuss how to install or inject ROM to our project because uh, it's not included uh, any project uh, by default we need to add it so uh, we are using x 9.3 today and iOS 11 and Swift 4.1 okay also uh, before uh, that let me uh, tell you, give you idea about the ROM ROM is a database designed for mobile uh, platform it's open source it's working under iOS with Swift and Objective-C, also Android, with Java. It's a multi-platform and automatically two-way sync or synchronization. It works with Node.js server SDK. It's, it has uh, cloud functions and it is free. Okay, let's start our project and install, then later add Rob. So we create a new project. We sing, we choose single view app project. We I name it iOS Swift Realm Database, and I put it uh, in this pro in this directory. And okay, we have it now. Okay, so we have a brand new project. So let's go to Google. Okay, so you will go to Google and say, okay, Realm Database Suite, for example. Okay, then uh, you will direct to the latest version. Uh, you know, exactly download part but let's go to the beginning of this uh, database and here we just choose uh, we can go to product and select database or you can here click on database anyway you will redirect to this uh, page and here either you can uh, choose see from here or you can swift, uh, click Swift uh, from here if you start uh, on uh, click on Swift uh, here then you will direct to the page your 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 you know instruction page and also start to download for you. But uh, I'm not gonna download it uh, because uh, I have uh, already downloaded this uh, uh, latest uh, database and uh, for all. Also, uh, you can also. Uh, go to from here and uh, select suite then uh, you need to start download manually here so double click here and start to download okay well, we will go to dynamic framework here so we will select dynamic tab uh, framework here and uh, uh, we uh, yeah or, and we will wait for uh, download to be completed okay so here we go, uh, we have download and uh, if we go to inside the, uh, this file, uh, we can go to iOS and uh, choose, uh, you know, which version, based on which version uh, of Swift we have, we can choose uh, one of these uh, ones. So let me show you how you can find uh, which version of the Swift you are running. So yeah, in first place, uh, you know, uh, you will see here that, uh, you know, which uh, uh, version of iOS uh, you are using or you can change it. Uh, but uh, for Swift, you will come to build and uh, setting, uh, build setting and uh, search for Swift. And then if you come down, you will find here that uh, ver which version of Swift you are using. Come on. Here you go. So in uh, Swift compiler language, you will find here and even you can change it, but uh, I'm not gonna change it. So Swift 4.1 iOS 11. 
so we will come I'll go and select go to Swift 4.1 and iOS 8 I have uh, you know I can uh, just drag from here and put it here and add it to the uh, to the project also I can uh, come back here and go into general page and here embed by you know binaries I can add plus and um, click on plus and then go to add others then I can go to where I have uh, this uh, package and okay I'll go to iOS suit 4.1 yeah and here I uh, with command keep pushing command and select uh, both of this and say open says okay copy yes copy and create a group make sure to check mark copy because we need a copy in our project okay we have it now in our project then uh, we will go to build phases and here you will see copy bundle the uh, linked binary libraries we have it here okay now we need to add an script so we will click on this small plus sign and then new script faces and uh, here we can type our script okay what a script we are we need to type so we will go back to our to page of uh, row and here we go and uh, here you will see a uh, instruction and then here you can pick up this script and go back to Xcode and put it here okay so we done with the installation now ROM is in our project and we can start to use it so I'll go to my new controller and I make it a little bit clean up okay uh, also I uh, here I see if I say import I can add ROM suite here and also we need to make a uh, data model class for this uh, ROM so I create new file suite file and I name it ROM for example data so first of all import ROM suite then make a class you can name your data you can name it with your data model for me is city like my other project uh, and it is an object so we're gonna add three object in it so object dynamic where variable so city name so initial value space so I make two more one for province and one for country okay so now we have uh, our uh, ROM uh, you know our project with uh, ROM and easy and uh, ready to go so that's it for uh, today in next video in part 2 you will find how you can uh, you know you save you fetch search and delete and uh, also we will talk about the you know more customizing uh, search 
If you have any question, leave it in comment, please. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos uh, which are coming every day. Thank you for watching us. Have a good one. Bye-bye.